This is called Nanda. Wow, okay. Tinamaan ako ng... I'm a friend. Um, Sorry? A friend, yes. A friend. Yes, I'm Rika. This is Fiona. And that's my husband, Joseph. Maybe I should just stay in there. But it's a long trip for the Naga going there. Yes. So, um, once we arrive in Slope, we will be entering the, the city, which is a small resort beside the briefing area of the Slope. Mm -hmm. So from there, um, yes, um, the convenience, like because we have, uh, they do have their own city bar, na, and then we can stay while waiting for the queue. We are implementing these rules for your safety and for the protection of the whale shark as well. So first is you are not allowed to touch the whale shark because they are considered as wild creature. So they will react violently or swim away leading to a shorter interaction. Second is no flash photography because whale sharks are sensitive to light. Third is swimming. Please observe the 4 meter distance away from the whale shark and 5 meters away if you are going to use flippers or swimming fins. That's from the mouth and down to its tail. And if you can see that the whale sharks are getting closer to you, don't panic. Just give them away and let them pass. They are harmless. Do you want to go down with me, Manu? So we are back in the car. Today is about exploring the seas of Cebu. So this is the Oslo whale shark um, experience, which um, kind of like took me a while to decide if I wanted this or not. Because on the one hand, ang ganda niyang experience para sa mga bata. I mean, like, how else are you gonna go like swim? beside a whale shark command, diba? But at the same time, all the controversies that surround the whole um, industry. And I did read up about it. And there's nothing conclusive. Because like, sabi nila, hindi daw okay para sa nature, ganyan. Siyempre, diba? I mean, like, you could see why. Parang it's a disturbance of the natural ecosystem to have this kind of industry here. But at the same time, kung paano niya na nabubuhay yung buong Oslop din because of, you know, the amount of people it brings in and the British industry. I mean, that's a reality. And you know, in like my head na parang, ano ba, do I, kasi I, I'm, I'm for the animals, I'm for the environment, I'm also for the people. I'm also for my kids. <laughs> 
So anyway, we went for it. It really is an amazing experience. Um, I remain undecided about how I really truly feel about it. Na should they continue or not? Um, although I could say na one observation is that they don't use motorboats. I don't know, it just feels less intrusive that way. You also are not supposed to touch them. They could, they could touch you, but you're not supposed to touch them. Now we're heading to um, Moal Boal. This time we're going to see turtles and yeah, sardines. On Pescador Island, you will see an underwater garden of flora and fauna or corals. The next site is Panaxama Beach where you can see and swim with millions of sardines or like the sardine run. And finally, a Tungdu Point where you can enjoy watching sea turtles. Please do not touch the turtles. <laughs> guys we are now about to experience a sardine like snorkeling so best to do it with like a scuba diving gear if you're a scuba diver but because we have kids we'll just go snorkeling ayana naghihintay na yung aking anak we'll see If you look down, you're gonna see the fish. <laughs> okay, together, Mama. Ready? Set. Set. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, this might be like Look at that epic halo halo. How is it? Heavenly. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here at the boundary. This is very near the diving spots and snorkeling spots here in Moal Boal. We're going to be in the beer. And in the halo halo. Alright guys, done with our stop here at the boundary and now gonna make our way back to um Makan. Okay, 
and may konti pa lang lakad papuntang spa so this is it hi good evening ang ganda naman dito <laughs> okay thank you hi good evening hey guys so so Leia is also giving me like this complimentary massage for an hour it's called the Hagod massage and I feel like it's gonna be so perfect for what I'm feeling today because masakit katawan ko kasi nga sabi nila may nakita daw namin yung asawa ko na you need a vacation from your vacation pag magulang ka na and I feel like lalo nang maliit na bata so I feel like this um, whole spa experience wasn't something that was important to me before. A lot of things actually are not important to me before or that I wouldn't really spend money on. Pero nag-iiba siya kapag ka nagkakaroon ka ng mga anak or lumalaki yung pamilya niyo. Let's go. Okay, so it's, at my, it's time for my massage. I'll take you guys with me. Ma by watching it, ma relax na rin kayo. Manu, what did you say? And go to the kids' room and play in the kids' room forever. <laughs> All right, guys, this is gonna be our last full day. Well, not really full day, half day here guys. in Solea, and we are going to uh, do as much as we can. Who gives this to Leia? Tita Belle. Tita Belle give me two things. A lot of things. Thank you, Tita Belle, for giving me. This is called Nanda. Does Nanda stand for anything? Like, is that a name for something? It's, like a, it's one of like the highest mountains or something. here in Nanda it's a cafe sort of like eating place eating place pero alam niyo na yung mga may overlooking ganyan so ito packet ako dito sa kanilang parang isa sa makanilang mga overlooking spots I thought like a burger would be nice with a cola. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a... Oh, yes. What is this? The Dog's burger. Dog's burger. It does smell like a curry though. Very orderly. You, you have the briefing. Even the... It's so nice right now. There's people that are Wow, okay. Pinamaan ako ng drone, guys. I'll take a picture. Yan. What is the drone, okay? <laughs> He's making sure. <laughs> At least yung drone, okay pa. Yung may-ari ng drone. Oh my gosh, okay lang yung drone. Oh I'm just kidding. Here you love, I'll take a picture. Bisikleta lang eh. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Stay still. <laughs> it was so painful though. When it, it happened. Painful. It looks painful because it really broke the skin. There, oh. Oh there. man. One, two, three, four. Wow. You see that? That's painful. Okay. 
I hope it'll sting when I take a bath, I'm sure. Hi! So, updates. We're not going home tomorrow because our flight got moved to from tomorrow to the next day. And uh, also, our friends gave us cebulichon. So we're gonna have that. Now time for the lechon. What is it? We're gonna have an obstacle course. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the extension day here in Cebu. And we're just so lucky that we got sun and so um we're thinking of what to do today as an extra day um food trip Hey everyone, good morning. We are in the airport and our flight is delayed 55 zero minutes. But I'm grateful that there is not, um, like it's not rainy, it's not wet. Kasi papasok yung super typhoon na sa Pilipinas today. So, I'm glad that we're ahead. So, if you ever find yourself in Cebu and you're looking for like um, nature stuff, Try you'll see that they have like mga different tours that go to the different towns like Moal Boal, Oslo, ganyan. Oslo is the famous um, whale shark watching and swimming. If you don't want just the whale shark, you can go visit certain circles also. But if you ever find yourself doing the whole Butanding experience, here are the things that, you know, I wish I did but I did not. Um, one is if you have a drone and they allow you, I didn't get to ask this anymore. Maganda sana yung top shot na nakikita mo yung butang ding from the top. Tapos nandun kayo. Ito yung ginawa. Meron akong drone, di ko naisip yung gawin. Because I didn't research on like how to do my shots well when you're already with the whale sharks. Um, another thing is if you can try to not have a vest on in some parts so you can really descend. Napakababaw lang naman din niya. Tsaka yung mga manongs ay napakagaling naman din mag-assist, no? Try nyo lang din mag-goggles instead of mag-snorkel kasi hassle talaga yung may mouthpiece pa na ganun na parang hindi ka kasi pwede makababa. So, pasok ng pasok yung tubig. I'm actually very happy with this trip including the, the fact that I was able to enjoy Nanda kasi Again, you know, mountain person. Did you like Nanda? You like Nanda, right? They also have potato corner nostalgia. What? They have potato corner nostalgia. What do you mean by that? Northern French fries in barbecue. Ah, uh, yeah, because of their, you know. Yeah, they actually have the same menu sort of as um, Salea. That's it for our Cebu vlog. And we thank you for, like, just being with us. We thank you all, the Cebuanos also, that we've encountered on this trip. Um, you've all been very, very nice. Ano sabi mo, Philip? 
Filipinos are? Very hospitable. Have good hospitality. Cebuanos, thank you for making my son feel one of the best traits that a Filipino can have. We'll see you again for another there you go. adventure. <laughs>